What's going on everyone, it's Adam here bringing you some Dark Souls 2 PvP action. I just wanted to do a showcase of a weapon that actually surprised me, and that is the Rampart Golem Lance. Now, this weapon, I think it looks awesome. Uh, it looks even better with Crystal Magic Weapon, although it looks like a spiked dildo. It's actually a really fun weapon to use. It has its pros and its cons, like most weapons, and I've never really been a lance user. Like, I tried the Chariot Lance for a while and it just wasn't my thing. I didn't really like that, but that lance actually sucks. Um, but this wep this this lance, it was, uh, I actually dug it. I, I can totally dig it. So I'm going to go over pros and cons, uh, what's good and bad about this weapon. And you're going to see my gameplay here and you're going to see me use a little bit because as I was playing, I was also learning more about it because I, like I said, I've never really played around seriously with the lance before. Like I had it on a bleed build for Chariot Lance. It was, it was dumb. So first off, it's a strong weapon. It just comes with magic on it, but you can also infuse it. I use the infused version because if you're going to use physical, there's better options like the Grand Lance. Just be a quality build. You're going to do a ton of damage that way physical, but this, this is magic build, the Jack Frost build. Thanks for checking out the video if you did. And it did, it does a lot of damage like this. All right. Um, it beats out the, if, if I just left it physical and this is with all the special fixings on it, okay? Like, I tried the physical with Ring of Blades plus two, and then I tried um, infused, magic infused Rampart Golem Lance with uh, a Sorcery Clutch Ring. And every single way, and then buffed, and then buff it up to see how much it does. Anyway, I sliced it. This turned out to be the strongest lance in the game. All right, and anyway, I sliced it, except for the Hade uh, Great Lance. That was stronger if I left it in its uh, just natural physical form, and then you add on the different stuff. That that was stronger. That was stronger than the normal physical uh, Rampart Golem Lance, but it's not stronger than the magic infused Rampart Golem Lance. I hope that makes sense to you guys. Anyways, at the at the end of the day, it turned out to be the strongest uh, attack rating Lance. Second. Good hitbox. Lance always had a good hitbox. The only thing that's going to be a problem is when you start meeting people with high agility that like are, are probably over leveled players. Like really to have that much agility, it takes so much investment. It's, it, there's just a good chance they're um, over leveled or they're just very, very high level for PvP. Like maybe they're just playing a lot of PvE and hey, jump into PvP. I got 99 uh, adaptability and 99 attunement. You're gonna have 120 agility and 16 iframes. That's not that doesn't go well for the Lance's hitbox. Okay, just so you know, you'll be able to tell too because it's gonna be a, you're gonna have a bad day. All right. Um, aside from that, the hitbox is actually good. It's actually a good hitbox. Like if you've been attacked by a lance or even dual lances, you'll know this. Uh, dual lances before were just the fucking worst, and uh, the hitbox is like broken beyond all belief. I can't even explain it. Um, and then the stun locking, blah, is, is ter terrible. But the hitbox on this weapon is good. It's solid. You can rely on it. So you should rely on it. All right. Just be careful. All right. Okay. So another thing, simple move set. The weapon has a simple move set. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, most of the lances, I th I think they all have the same moveset, actually. Off the top of my head, I couldn't, uh, don't quote me. But you know what moves to use and which ones not to with this weapon. You're not going to get confused or something mid-battle, all right? For this weapon, you really want to stick with R1s, two-handed, one-handed, and um, rolling R1, one-handed or two-handed, because those are your quickest attacks. You can stun lock off the R1, R1. Uh, one-handed and two-handed um, it's it's very effective now the R2 and uh, the running R1 uh, I'm speaking for PlayStation 3 here okay so if you're curious it's our bumper and all that just you know what to do um, yeah I don't I, I pretty much never use the R2 or the running one unless I'm like just fooling around or trying something maybe trying to get a knockdown because you can knock down with the running R1 and um, also the R2 but it's just 
it's too much. The recovery frames are horrible. They're really, really bad. So it's it's too much recovery for a weapon. Um, also, I always forget to use it because I never use it, is that you can block and use the lance, like, uh, like the spear. But I never use it because it uses up a lot of stamina, and I don't like draining my stamina that much. You can really... The, uh, the lance is a very patient player's weapon. You have to be very patient to use the lance. Don't go crazy. Let them go crazy. Let them kill themselves. They'll run at you and you're good. The weapon does great poise damage. It has 35 poise damage. Um, so you're going to break poise easily. If you really want to throw on the stone ring, you're, you're welcome to, but I don't think you really need it with this weapon. It has awesome magic, infusion, and scaling, like just capabilities. Very reliable weapon when you infuse this with magic. It is deadly. Uh, you will you will fuck people up pretty good. Um, with the magic infusion and also the best counter uh, damage in the game, like all lances have 160 counter damage, it is uh, the best overall. So you can see why I really like this weapon. And last thing on the list is that this weapon has incredibly high critical damage. It still has very, very high critical damage. If you've been critical by a lance in the past, it still does a ton of damage. Uh, you can see in these clips when I critical someone, uh, whether it be on a riposte or guard break or backstab, it does immense amount of damage. Now that's also compiled with the fact that I have it infused and magic... Um, crystal magic weapon but still that damage is insane this is on new game these these clips so on new game plus it does 1.5 damage or 50 percent more damage so you can see like how much how deadly this weapon can be all right if you use it properly the cons now i just want to talk about 16 pounds it's a lot of weight now if you're going to use a lance it might be better off to go with uh the hate great lance overall it's lighter but if you can spare the extra weight, it's totally worth it. The weapon, it's 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 sick. The weapon's very brittle. It has the lowest durability of all the lances. It has horrible stability. It has some of the lowest stability in the game. Uh, it has 15 stability. So if you're blocking with this weapon, you're going to knock yourself off balance. They're going to eat your stamina alive, depending on their weapon too. If they have heavy weapons, don't bother blocking. Always try to roll, even if it's going to um, eat away at your health a little bit. At least you'll roll through it, take a little bit of damage, and get out instead of getting your guard broken and getting reposted to death. The last thing on the list, well, I guess last two, I'll go over two more things. Um, the move set is very simple, very easy to know and learn, but it's also very easy to predict and fight against. So when you're fighting against someone with the lance, you know they're just kind of they're going to be doing straight attacks, right? They're just poking you, they're poking, poke, poke. Um, it's very easy to deal with when you have high agility or if you can get around them. You have to really be patient when you're fighting against a lance player, just like a lance player has to be very patient when fighting against other players. So just take that into account. And also, uh, the like I said before, the, the moves, the R2 and stuff, just stay away from those because they're very the, the recovery is too, too long. It's not worth it because you're going to get backstabbed or you're just... Some of that's gonna happen. It's just useless, pretty much. So I, I really s try to stay with the R1, two-handed, one-handed. Uh, so you can stun lock off that basic one, and then you can also do the roll right through it. The roll is actually very quick and really good for uh, countering people. I also want to in, uh, talk about the counter damage a little bit more before we finish up here. The counter damage. If you throw on the Leo ring with this weapon and it's buffed, the damage on this thing is insane. It's it's unbelievable. So. Um, give this weapon a try and tell me what you think. It is heavy. It does have its uh, predictable move set, but it's very damaging weapon. Looks awesome. And uh, yeah, I think you should give it a try if you haven't yet. So just give the blue dildo a try. The blue spike dildo a try. And thanks for checking out the video. And thanks for sticking around the channel. Stay honorable.